honorable sisters, brothers, and friends. Uh, sermon in the celebration of this Mass, Divine Miracle number 8, Christ cures a determined paralytic. Reference Luke chapter 5 um, verse 21. Service. We begin by honoring and singing the title of the Hail Mary in Latin. Ave Maria. And we pray to God that we are worthy of communing with God in Christ. We pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Creator Almighty, Creator of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in the Incarnation. Jesus began his adult ministry per divine miracle number one, when he transformed water into wine. Jesus suffered crimes due to the Sanhedrin, the scribes, Pharisees, and Jewish mob that shouted to crucify him. The killing of an innocent man is murder. Jesus did not have kill himself. Uh, to kill an innocent man is murder, and however, by the divine power of God, Jesus Christ was resurrected. The message of resurrection, proof of eternal paradise. I believe in the universal pure Christian faith, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body and soul with God in paradise. The Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou for being the mother of Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of Jesus, we honor and pray to you now and at the hour of our death. The prayer of contrition. God, if I have sinned, I pray for forgiveness. Now, we commune with God and Christ in the belief of their divinity. For Christ's commandment, we bless a little bread. And proclaim, this is my body. What is Jesus Christ really telling us? That he is using bread considered the staff of life symbolically, because when you are in paradise, you will have body and soul, just as he uh, went up into paradise, the ascension, body and soul. Then we take a cup of wine or what we have or can drink. And we bless the cup of our drink. And we proclaim, as Christ proclaimed, this is the blood of the new and eternal covenant. What is Christ really telling us? That he is symbolically using red wine that is uh, what sustains our life here on earth. However, realize when you are in paradise, you will have an eternal system that will sustain your eternal life. And this preacher's opinion and what I preach is that this it will be the eternal divine spirit that God and Christ possess. Now we commune with God and Christ. And I was taught that you should say a few words or a prayer and humbly and you are prepared to commune with God and Christ. Of course you say 
in the belief of the divinity of God in Christ. And the uh, uh, humble prayer words you say are that of the centurion, is what I say, and the positive words. Uh, God, I pray I am worthy. And then uh, declaring, emphasizing in the belief of God and Christ's divinity. And what did Christ mean when he said, do this in remembrance of me? Uh, in remembrance. In the belief of God and Christ's divinity. In the belief of God and Christ's divinity. After communion, we have a moment of silent prayer to honor and pray for family, relatives, and friends. Now, we say the prayer, the Lord's Prayer, and that has been set to music. I say the Lord's Prayer, and I actually now sing the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in paradise, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in paradise. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our uh, any sin, and may we not be led into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the paradise, and the power, and the glory forever. Well, that essentially completes the obligatory celebration of communing with God in Christ. I uh, then say, in my opinion, important announcements. And that is, uh, you know, you have... You're, you know who you are, honesty, moral character, etc. Don't let second raters try to degrade you. And, of course, you have to protect yourself, thus primly insane hoovers. Uh, to believers, I say God bless. To uh, those who are good, but don't believe, but are good, well, that's, I think the, God knows uh, how to judge your soul and uh, practice safety, and uh, God bless.